My illness tale is pretty tame compared to most. There were no big climaxes or collapses, no misdiagnoses or trips to the hospital. Instead, my body's unraveling consisted of subtler warning signs that frankly didn't always capture my attention. But eventually they added up to the same question that I think a lot of autoimmune sufferers ask themselves, which is, why don't I feel well? I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis when I was 22 years old, just a year out of college. And at the time, I didn't know what an autoimmune disease was, let alone what even a thyroid was. I was told it was fairly common with women my age and totally treatable. I would just need to be on medication for the rest of my life. In the years that followed, I started to slowly descend from Health Mountain. I was doubled over in pain pretty much every time I ate, which was more than just an occupational hazard. I had to stop running because of the cramps I would get within just half a block. I was tired all the time, yet couldn't sleep through the night without waking up in a pool of sweat. And to add insult to injury, my skin was a total disaster. Vanity really was my most powerful motivator. I knew I needed to make some big changes, but I wanted a different approach. I needed a health protocol that would help me find my own definition of balance. The kind that, you know, wouldn't require me to drink cucumber juice and meditate three times a day like the cover girls of the Whole Foods magazine aisle. As a young 20-something in New York City, I wanted to know, how do I do right by my body without giving up my life? In 2015, I decided to dedicate a whole year to answering that question by making one lifestyle change one month at a time. I started by asking experts on all sides of the wellness space the same question. If you could tell someone one thing to change about their lifestyle, what would it be? Their answers became the backbone of my year-long curriculum, which tackled everything from hydration habits to natural beauty products to taming stress. The Wellness Project is the story of how I did it. Here's the thing. Healthy choices don't happen in a vacuum. What not enough people acknowledge is that change is really hard. The struggle is real. You can't do it with a like or retweet or a sachet of turmeric tea and a 21-day detox. It may take some extremes to get to a place of balance. The roadmap that my book offers and what my story shows is that you don't have to do all of the above all at once. You can pick and choose your own wellness adventure and take the scenic route back up Health Mountain. And I can tell you that from up here, the view is pretty amazing.